Good evening, viewers at home. I hope you're very fine and you're doing well today. Uh, today, I want us to talk about a topic about which I'm passionate, quite passionate, and that is parenting. More so because I think COVID-19 has uh, made parents kind of overwhelmed because from the lockdown to all of this period, they've had to deal with their, their children 24 hours, seven days a week without a break. No school, no church, it's all parents and children at home. So let's look at parenting. What is parenting? Basically, it involves, you know, all of the activities that a parent engages in, in the process of raising a child from a child to an adult, an adult that is um, independent, self-reliant, and is useful to himself and the society. I think that is the goal of parenting. Our children should take over us, they should be useful to the society, and they should even take care of us at old age. Now, how do we achieve this? You know, uh, in ordinarily, you know, we don't have as much time to spend with the children, but research has shown that for children to grow up to be responsible, they have to have a, an intimate relationship with a responsible adult that will love them unconditionally. This is the role that parents are supposed to play, unfortunately, because of work and other things. They can do so. But I think that COVID-19, in spite of all the negatives, has provided us this unique opportunity to spend quality time with our children, have the opportunity to see them make mistakes and correct them, and parent them, guide them, model good behaviors to them. So how really can we achieve all of this parenting? First of all, what I want uh, parents out there to realize is that your children, three of them, four of them, are all unique individuals. Parenting is not a one-size-fits-all affair. That is to say you can deal with your children as a whole and try to use the same method for every child. As a parent, you need to study your children and find out what they like, find out their individualities, their differences, uh, and then know how to deal with them as such. So if one child is motivated, by craft another is motivated by um you know something else we just need to find their peculiarities and deal with them as individuals secondly i want uh, parents to know that parenting is teamwork it's just like um, a teacher and a learner in the school if the teacher refuses to deal with the learner or the student as a team member but rather wants to you know use an authoritative style with the child. He will not achieve much in terms of learning because like the saying goes, you can take a horse to the river, you can force the horse to drink. So parenting is teamwork. And the, the, the biggest unity in this teamwork or the, the greater part of this work is between the husband and the wife, the mother and the father figure. As a matter of fact, you don't really have to be the biological parent, but if you're playing the role of a parent, that is exactly what it is. The mother and the father, the husband and the wife have to be team members, never opponents before your children. And this to say, you must always agree before your children. You must make your decisions and do all the arguments in the back scene. By the time you come before your kids, they should see you as one unit. That way, they'll respect you more, there'll be consistency, and they'll be obedient to you. The moment your children realize that mommy and daddy do not agree, and they always disagree, they will play on your intelligence. Children are very crafty and manipulative, so they will manipulate the mother and the father. And then also, the children have to be treated as team members especially in this COVID-19 era what I would recommend for parents to do is sit back and decide what do you want your children to achieve by the end of COVID-19 let's just make a, a projection and say okay this is gonna last for five months at the end of five months what do I want my children to achieve now these goals you wouldn't sit back and agree on them alone without the children because if you agree on these goals alone and try to impose them on the children you might not get as much cooperation as you will get if you sit down together with them and draft, you know, and write out the goals you want to achieve. Is it um, learning to play an instrument besides their online schooling for those doing online schooling? Is it uh, acquiring some skills like uh, some computer skills, uh, sewing skills, whatever it is, reach an agreement with your children depending on their age. And after that also, there are some rules, there are some, um, there's some planning that you need to do to uh, enable you achieve the goal you've set. You know, some rules should be set on how they'll be, what you expect of them to do, your expectations of your children from the break of the day to the end of the day that will enable you achieve your goals. Your children should also be part of setting these rules. When you do it together as a team, then you work together as a team to achieve these goals and it becomes easier. And so you set simple rules. For instance, okay, children should be at bed, uh, in bed at uh, 8 p.m. maximum. It is better when you set rules for your children, COVID-19 or not, that you set the rules in the positives. So instead of saying, don't stay up till 9 p.m., say go to bed at 
8 p.m. That makes the rules more acceptable for the children and they will obey you easier. So you set these rules, make your children part of the, you know, process of setting the goals and making the rules and all of that. After that, you know, the holidays have been extended. So you want to ensure that your children have a structured uh, system that they can continue with. If you allow them to just do things anyhow through these long holidays, they're likely to develop habits that will be difficult to break in the long term. So you want to create a structure for them. There's a definite time to wake up. There's a time to have breakfast. There's a time to engage in their uh, online school work. There's a time for lunch. There's a time for play. Create a structure and ensure that, you know, you carry through with the structure. You have to support your children through the process, you know, and then make sure they stick to the structure. With this, they'll be able to, you know, meet their goals and carry through. So for today, we're going to stop here. And we hope that with this few points, we've gotten you started on being a better parent. And uh, we have tried to make your parenting journey easier if you love this if you've learned something new and if you want to hear more please leave a comment in the comment section and also please don't forget to subscribe to this channel there's a whole lot more coming to you from here i bet you you will enjoy this and you will appreciate this thank you have a pleasant evening today and see you next week